Heart disease happens to be the most common cause of death for both men and women. It is also one of the most ignored causes of death, as many patients may not have symptoms or feel bad before their heart disease gets significantly worse. UPMC as a health system is one of the largest health systems in the nation, and our Heart and Vascular Institute has that same scale. So we see patients throughout 40 different hospitals, hundreds of different sites across three states. And the size certainly helps us in terms of being able to provide comprehensive care that is servicing multitude of patients in multitude of different specialties. In the Heart and Vascular Institute, we've created a culture of collaboration and excellence. And you know, when I talk about excellence, excellence, it's, it's excellence in care. It's a difficult thing to do at times. You need a truly integrated group of physician nurses and all members of the team to work together and provide this outstanding care. And our commitment is there to do that. The surgeons at UPMC collaborate very intimately and organically with the cardiologists. This takes place at so many levels. This is in the procedure room and the OR. We do lead extractions together, obviously tavers and valve implantations. We do them together, but mostly we make the decisions together. So we have an endocarditis team when we have patients infected. We have the electrophysiologist, the imager on the cardiology side with the CT surgeon, making the decision as to how best to treat the patient, as well as when we have patients in shock or having valve issues, we make those decisions together for the betterment of the patient's outcomes. UPMC is such a, a highly innovative healthcare system and looking at not only innovative and clinical solutions for patients in general, but also really committed to the academic mission of discovery and providing just really cutting edge patient care to not only patients in the Pittsburgh area, but globally. The aortic surgery program at UPMC is one of the largest in the world. We take tremendous pride in not only performing a high volume of thoracic aortic surgery, but also doing so with outstanding outcomes. Collaboration is crucial for success in all parts of life and surgery is no different. We all come from different perspectives, different areas of trying to help with patient care. And I think all of those perspectives combine to give us the, the best outcomes and, and really the best care of all of our patients. We like to think of ourselves as a very large team and that our team is, is much more than the sum of its parts and that we as a, as a whole can accomplish much greater things than any of us could individually. We have learned a significant amount through tens of thousands of heart surgeries performed at UPMC. And our goal now is to help disseminate these knowledge, the technical know-hows, the tips and tricks, all while educating the greater cardiothoracic surgical community so that they can go on and take care of their patients while providing them with the best outcomes. We also can do this while ensuring that our trainees get the best education and training possible before they graduate and become independent cardiothoracic surgeons. Minimally invasive approaches to heart surgery are clearly the future because the trauma, the surgical trauma is significantly reduced and that translates into faster healing and a significantly shortened recovery time for the patient. UPMC strongly supports robotic surgery and robotic cardiac surgery and we offer essentially all procedures that are done robotically Recent advances are the implantation of a left ventricular assist device using robotic assistance. We do simultaneous robotically assisted hybrid coronary interventions, so combinations between robotic cabbage and PCI in the same session. And most recently, we have also started unroofing myocardial bridges that can cause angina in some patients. I think that these minimally invasive approaches are not just beneficial for patients from a recovery standpoint, but they also offer surgeons a really good view of the heart, the anatomy, and I think we do a better job with these tools. It's very rare for us to turn down patients. We all try our best to find some sort of option. We talk amongst our colleagues and, and there's not, I think, a discipline that we don't engage to find the best solution for our patients. At UPMC, there's a legacy of transplantation and, and heart transplantation has been performed here for many years. We are carrying that legacy forward through quality and innovation. 
We do very complex heart transplants. We do multi-organ transplants, including heart kidney, heart liver, and heart lung, highly sensitized recipients. We do retransplants. We do complex adult congenital patients as well. We're setting a new standard for excellence in cardiac transplantation. Our cardiothoracic training program is one of the few in the country to offer all three training pathways. That is, we have an integrated or I-6 program. We have a four plus three pathway, as well as a traditional two-year fellowship. One of the things that uh, really makes me proud of, of being in UPMC is the fact that I see our trainees, uh, a lot of them now in having leadership positions in, at major institutions. Uh, that speaks volumes for our training program and for the quality of residents we attract. In addition to, to their clinical training, our trainees spend time in the laboratory pursuing academic projects. And these may include basic science projects, translational projects, or clinical research. As a PhD scientist, being able to collaborate with bioengineers, other basic scientists, as well as surgeons is really important. And I feel like as a team, we'll be able to make a meaningful impact on patient care. And working at this intersection of science, engineering, and surgery will allow us to tackle the clinically important problems that are addressable through cardiothoracic surgery. We have a team of brilliant, internationally renowned surgeons, scientists, uh, absolutely compassionate and caring nurses and APPs who all have a singular focus, which is how do we take best care of our patients and provide the best therapy available for their heart disease? And taking this into account with our code, I expect we will continue to be one of the most prominent cardiac surgical programs in the country.